Hey friends, what is up? It is Wednesday. These days I go to acting class. It is taught um, by a really talented actress who was on General Hospital for many years. And it's a, an eclectic group of people from all different walks of life who are all looking for the same thing, creative expression, and to perfect and fine tune their act. I wouldn't say to perfect, to fine tune their acting skills. Every week we try and get on camera and the class watches you film it and then we give each other great feedback. I learn a lot. It's really awesome. Just getting ready to go. My scene partner and I are rehearsing before class. Um, we did our scene last week and we're doing it again with the feedback that we got from the class and from our teacher. So I'm excited to do that again. And then I also have to rehearse. I have an audition tomorrow. I'm super excited. It makes, uh, it makes Valentine's Day a little more exciting for me if I have stuff going on. So plans in the evening and I'm excited for that. Um, so yeah, that is that. I am going to head to class. Maybe I will uh, see you guys there. Hey friends, happy Friday. I am coming at you from almost nap 30. I don't feel that great today. I didn't feel great yesterday and I'm not feeling 100%, like my energy level and my concentration as well as just like my overall um, feeling, like my body has just gone like plummeting. My, my energy levels have been plummeting all day. I just don't feel great. I have chronic headaches and that's something that I've dealt with most of my life, but I've had it for the last two days right here. And this year was Valentine's Day, so that kind of sucked not feeling great, but I think once we got some food, I felt better. I had pizza, which is the way to my heart, and I got, he got me a mini French press and some white roses, and we had some wine and just hung out and watched Crazy Rich Asians. It was just really chill, and I was feeling better, but then I woke up this morning and I was feeling meh, and then I've been on showings all day, and my energy levels have just been like brrr, plummeting. So I actually think I'm gonna nap, even though it's like just getting home and it's like five o'clock. I, I can't. Um, I've been feeling kind of crappy today. It's been productive. I uploaded last week's vlog. I think vlogs are gonna come out on Fridays, and curated content's gonna come out on Mondays. Unless there isn't a vlog that week, in which case I'll upload something else. I'm just gonna nap, have dinner, and go back to bed because I have to get up early tomorrow. Even though tomorrow's Saturday, I'm working. And this isn't as it. It's like so frustrating. It's a scar. I need to get rid of this guy. protectant I've been putting in my hair when I blow dry it. This is from the brand Monet. It is the blowout cream. What is in this? It's some good stuff in it. It's paraben cruelty free. Like that little dime size. And then I really concentrate it underneath my hair and in the back and then I carry it through the ends. I did find that with Creams like this and other um, blow dry creams and other protectant products that if I put too much at my roots, it gets really greasy in my hair, so I try and be careful. Hey guys, <clears throat> wow, my voice just cracked. So much better today. I rested all of yesterday and it was totally worth it. So I am feeling good, ready to, to get back into vlogging and everyday life. I'm behind on some work stuff because I worked on Sunday, but I had to follow up on some things yesterday and I was just not feeling up to it. So I've been catching up on that this morning and I did a little bit of cooking. 
after I made breakfast and while I was working and then the skies opened up and it is so disgusting and gloomy outside right now it was thundering really really bad so i decided to hold off on um, going to trader joe's until it cleared up a little and i don't think the rain's gonna let up but it seems to not be raining as hard so i think i'm gonna make a mad dash for it but when i get back I wanted to catch up with you guys because I started tidying up Marie Con a la Marie Kondo yesterday and I'm very happy. I did a few bits. Let me show you. Gold my dresser yesterday. T-shirts, sweats. I'm especially proud of this drawer because uh, Sean makes fun of me, but I keep socks with holes in them. It's a bad, bad habit. I just love socks and I just keep the ones with the holes. And I got rid of those because they don't bring me joy. I think this one's my favorite drawer. My workout clothes. It goes pretty far back. All the bras and stuff. It's so great. I'm very pleased. Since I wasn't feeling that great, I didn't finish up everything yesterday. So I am going to tackle the closet, which I don't think I'm going to have too much stuff from the closet that I'll be getting rid of because I purged my closet before I moved here. So all that is to say is that I'm feeling good. Um, let me show you guys what I'm wearing. This is probably what I'm going to wear to dance class later. Wetcher is from Misguided. I love this detail here. Makes it a little fun. Usually I don't have anything peeking through here, but I'm wearing a workout top. It's just like one of those Under Armour materials. It's from Adidas. These are those red leggings I was telling you guys about in my Amazon video. I'm obsessed. I ordered them in blue as well. And then these are just some old Nikes. I want some where the sole and the swoosh are black. And I found a pair, but I don't know. I'm just like... I don't really like the style of them as much, so I'm on the hunt. If you guys know where I can find black on black on black, let me know. Remember how I said I was having a great hair day? Well, it's been ruined by the torrential downpour that is happening right now. So I'm going to leave this beanie on, but I wanted to talk to you guys because I went to somewhere else instead of Trader Joe's. Who am I? I went to Whole Foods 365, which opened here about like a month and a half ago. Basically, it's Whole Foods, like most of their generic uh, Whole Foods 365 brand and, um, you know, some of the other big brands that they carry, but like a pared down version of Whole Foods. It, I read about it a few months ago. It's geared more towards millennials. Uh, lower prices than regular Whole Foods because I, I find that I can't justify shopping there for like all my groceries. So it was on my way home from Target so I thought I would check it out. This section of Whole Foods is so good. Ugh. I can't open this. Okay. Next up in the drive but these are parm garlic parmesan wings, cauliflower, uh, curried cauliflower and kale for dinner tonight. I got a little snack, which I nibbled on the way home. This is Panda Raspberry Licorice. It's okay. I don't know if I would buy it again. It tastes kind of like raisins, which isn't what I was expecting. The other snack I got are plantain strips. These are the sweet plantains, which um, families from Puerto Rico, for those of you that don't know. And usually when we eat these, we call them platanutres, and they're usually like salty so to have them with the sweet plantains is such a treat i love these um i got a bag of clementines i got frozen jasmine rice for my meal prep this is a shout out to um one of my instagram friends she recommended this pizza this is the kala power frozen pizza she claims it to be better than the cauliflower pizza that I buy at Trader Joe's, which is a high claim, so I'm excited. Then I got some organic ground chicken breast, also for meal prep, and I got kombucha. This is a local kombucha brewer. Brewer? 
yeah, we're gonna go with that. It's a local kombucha brewer, 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 a local kombucha company. This is called Lenny Boy, and this one is called Lavenderade. It's lavender and lemon. I'm very excited to try that. And then I got some like paper towels and boring stuff at Target, so you didn't miss much. But I went into Target and I bought only what I needed, so I think that that deserves a round of applause. Anyway, I am going to unpack all of this food and put it away, and then I am going to probably clean this up and decompress. I've been driving in torrential downpours for about two hours, and it's not fun. the stuff that doesn't give me joy I stuffed it into the bag for a visual look at this none of this gives me joy a lot of it I've like I said is from another time in my life and it doesn't serve its purpose and I totally overstuffed this but I needed this and then all of these socks over here those have holes or they're like really old and I'm so happy right now that was so cathartic so relaxing and now I'm going to do something I love, which is color code my closet. But I can actually do that and not have to like sort through clothes that I absolutely hate, have negative memories, that never get worn, that aren't my style. They don't deserve a place in my closet. And it just feels so good to say, peace out. And to share that with you guys, if you are considering spring cleaning, organizing your life, do it that way. It just felt so awesome to just like take all this shit that doesn't serve me, put it on my bed and say goodbye. I can't wait to get rid of it. Like I need it gone. But for now, having it in the Ikea bag and not in my closet is better, is, uh, is a good start. So, ah, I feel so good. <laughs>